tribute to a master. Paul Gauguin's sunflowers painted in the style of his friend and colleague, Vincent van Gogh. Not as famous as his Tahiti series, but still a piece that fascinates for its symbolism. This still life has a lot of um, different layers and references. As you can see in it, there is also an image of a fils de Chavannes, um, that's for him a father, a spiritual father for all the impressions. And below, there is a copy, I mean, these are all done by him, of a Degas print. Again, he's referencing his masters, his colleagues. The painting is expected to fetch at least 10 million pounds, that's 15 million dollars, when it goes up for auction in London in early February. The artwork will be in good company. Degas' two dancers in yellow and other masterpieces from the Impressionist period will go under the hammer, no doubt with a similarly hefty price tag. There'll also be more recent works, surrealist compositions by the likes of Salvador Dali, and this by Magritte, painted in 1941 as the Germans were invading Belgium. Magritte wants to counter the sinister side of everyday life, the sadness of war. He says that in this painting. His surrealist friends do the same a bit later. He wanted to return to a pure, simple and surreal beauty. It's usually been the more fashionable modern works making headlines for their price tags. Now surrealist work too is booming. Surrealist works have risen in value little by little. The thought is that there's still some way to go, that it's a movement that's getting bigger and bigger, especially the rarer works. They've become something not only Americans and Europeans, the traditional surrealist collectors look at, but also Russians and Chinese. Why? Well, for people with a few million to spare, art is now seen as a safe investment at a time when there aren't many of those around.